This is Brenda. She's a neighbor of mine who went to a local hospital for a small bruise and got hit with a $4,000 bill for an x-ray. Brenda didn't have the money to pay, so the hospital made her life miserable. As a surgeon, I'm proud of the medical profession, but I was embarrassed to see how much pain it caused Brenda. One in five Americans has medical debt now in collections. For Brenda and so many others like her, who work and have health insurance, it means buying fewer groceries and losing faith in the system. With an estimated 21% of medical tests being unnecessary, overtreatment now runs rampant in some areas of medicine, and price gouging has sadly become an accepted way of doing business. That's not who we are. That's not our heritage as a medical profession. When American hospitals were built, most had a charter dedicating them to be a safe haven for the sick regardless of one's race or creed or ability to pay. Yet today, half of women with stage four breast cancer report being harassed by medical debt collectors. That's why I felt compelled to write this book. It's time we cut the waste, stop the money games, and restore medicine to its mission.